using a timeline collection. We don't need any other features from Mirror API because we're only, we are only pushing content to a glass. But for instance, if you wanted to provide a way for a user to save a cat fax or to share a cat fax with your, their friends, you might want to add new items, etc. All right, let's see what the user flow looks like. Again, it's pretty simple. So the user starts on your website, authenticate using OAuth 2.0. Then once you get the user's token, store, store the token in your database. And when you get a new cat fax or when your project runs, just go through your list of users. Insert, uh, get the credentials, instantiate a new service object, insert the item into the mirror API, and we'll take care of the rest from here. Go server will sync with the user's glass, and eventually the cat fax will be pushed to the user's glass and make the user happy. Well, let's take a look at the code. Again, very simple. Uh, we start by getting a random cat fax. So in this case, we're only setting the text. But in your glass wire, you might want to use a shin to be able to add your own branding. Then we are getting a random cat fax. But you should get a push notification from the news provider you're getting information from. And then you go through all of your users in your database, get their credentials, uh, build a mirror service. This is Java. Uh, it might change according to what you're using. And then push the item to the, to the user's class, to the user's timeline. Of course, always check for exceptions. Uh, something bad might happen, and you want to catch that so you don't break uh, the process for all the rest of the users. And then that's it. You just send all the cat to other users. But like what we did here was sending a, sync, uh, a request for all of our users. There might be a better way to do that. Instead of sending like tons of HTTP requests every every hour when you get a new uh, a news update, you might be able to have a better process. And actually, our API stack, uh, on which the Mirror API is built on, supports bashing requests. The way it works is that you simply build a multi-part HTTP request, composed of sub HTTP requests, and you send a single HTTP request for all the users. So. All the client libraries might not support bash requests. You should check on the project page. Uh, the Java that we're using here that, that support bash, bashing requests. And the way it works is that you first need to create a bash callback class that extends the JSON uh, bash callback interface. Uh, you need to implement two methods on success and on failure. This is to keep track of, of uh, which requests have failed or which requests have not succeeded. In our case, we only keep keeping track of, of the numbers of requests. But in your case, you might want to keep a request and retry again. Or if a user had revoked your token, just remove a user from the database. Once you're done implementing your class, simply create a batch request from the mirror service. So this is unauthorized. You don't need, you don't need to authorize your batch request. Uh, create the new callback object, and then go through all your users again. Uh, get a credential from the database, same as before. Uh, get uh, create a new insert request, but don't execute the request right now. Simply add them to the queue of a batch request. Once you've added all the batch request, all the sub requests to the batch, execute the batch request and check out the results. That's it. You just set boundaries. Send multiple requests into a one single request, and with uh, GCP encoding, you might actually save a lot of bandwidth and, uh, and data. But batching request doesn't save your quota. All right, this was very simple. Let's jump into another demo.